hello everyone welcome back to techno charts youtube channel and in today's video i am going to explain you how you can make your trading journal and how your trading journal can help you to identify your mistakes and improve your trading so first of all i have shared the link of the trading journal in the description below now once you click on the link you need to copy the trading journal right so you have to make a copy and write your name or whatever that you want to write example is copy of trading journal so i will make a copy here and once i am making a copy then only i will be able to edit the trading journal otherwise it will it is only on view only and there are restrictions on this trading journal you need to go to the file section and make a copy so that you can edit according to your own needs and you can mention your trades in the trading journal right now we have two types of trading journal here first is the basic trading journal that is the sample one and the advanced trading journal that is the python performance sheet basically right so we will talk about the first trading journal the basic trading journal let's say we have few columns of date stock name entry quantity invested amount stop loss exit and this is about the calculation of pnl percentage gain or percentage loss and sl percentage whatever the trade that you are taking you'll have to type the percentage right you will have to have a stop loss in that trade and hence it will automatically calculate the percentages and trade taken due to what was the reason of taking the trade what was the reason of exiting the trade and what did you feel whenever you had take taken a trade and what was the remarks right we will go through each and every column in detailed manner so here is the date column where we are going to write the date of the trade that we have taken so on 14th of june let's assume that we have taken a trade in days the blue steel the entry price was 577 quantity that we had taken let's assume is 1000 okay now invested amount will be automatically calculated by multiplying the entry amount into the quantity size so we will just drag the column down and the formula will be applied on that column so the invested amount was 577000 now in this case the stop loss we had kept was around let's say 560 rupees okay and the exit that we have or whatever the price that we have exited for that particular script we will write it here okay now these three columns will be calculated automatically once you drag and drop the formulas or uh, right now here i will click here i will just select and drop it down so here it will show me that i had made a profit of 8000 the what was the percentage gain the percentage gain is only 1.39% and what was my sl percentage here my sl percentage was 2.9% now these are going to be calculated automatically and whenever you are going to make profit it will show in green color and whenever you are making going to make a loss it will show in red color okay now the sl percentage will be always in orange color so this is the color scheme that i have already defined you can change the color scheme as an anyhow you want now the main part of the trading journal is where we come to the trade taken due to the exit reason the feelings and the remarks now for example why why was the trade taken so we will write it here resistance rejected something like that and wh what was the exit reason our exit reason was rr achieved is rr achieved now what was the feeling so this is one of the most important uh, sections of the trading journal where you are going to improve your psychology now if you are feeling nervous or if you are whenever you are taking a trade at the end of the week once you summarize everything and try to analyze where you have gone wrong or where where you have gone right now if you continuously write some kind of feelings like you were feeling nervous you were feeling happy or you were feeling very uh, and, and and you were having a feeling of anxiety whenever you are taking a trade so that is where you need to improve and this is only going to happen once you write everything down in your trading journal and start to improve also you can raise numerous reasons such as you uh, book the profit early or you did not trail your stop loss properly or you have taken a trade due to fomo 
or you have taken a trade uh, early even though the conditions were not met so this is what you can do whenever you are taking a trade and you can journal everything down and try to summarize everything at the end of the day or at the end of the week so that you can track everything and where you are going wrong and it is going to help you a lot we will now use this advanced trading journal to monitor our options trading right now here you can see that there are three type of strategies m2m example strategy 1 m2m strategy 2 m2m and strategy 3 m2m here we see that the brokerage is present and the net pnl daily which is calculated by subtracting and adding all the profit and loss the daily roi how much money that we have made depending upon the starting capital and the dd amount or how much loss that we have made from the equity curve high that is known as the dd amount and we will check whether our strategy is in dd or in dd basically means drawdown and how much you have lost from equity curve high and eth means all time high right so now we will understand how you can use this excel sheet to monitor your options trading here in the performance statistics you can monitor each and every anal analysis of your uh, data for example if you want to know the max profit on winning days max loss on losing days what was the average profit on winning days what was the average loss on losing days and what is the average daily profit what is the percentage of uh, profit that you are giving as brokerage and what is the net pnl what is the absolute roi after the trading right so this is going to help you to monitor your performance statistics and for example let us understand how you can use it exactly let's say that on strategy 1 that i have made a profit of 1000 rupees on strategy 2 i have made a loss of minus 2000 rupees and on strategy 3 i have made a profit of 4000 rupees right so here as you can see the net pnl is going to be calculated automatically and once we write the number of trades the brokerage will get added automatically now how do we understand what are the number of trades for example if you are trading if you are trading only one side of option let's say if you are trading only the call options or if you are trading only the put option then that will be known as a single trade where you are not trading straddles or straddles so for example in case of straddle we are going to sell and buy one call option and we are going to sell and buy one put option right so there are total four trades that are going to happen and we are we need to pay on each and every side of the trade in case of option trading or if you are only buying and selling call option then on the, this will be counted as two trades and if you are buying and selling only put option then this will be counted as two trades right so total if you are doing straddles or triangle combination let's say here then we are going to write here total number of trades would be 12 here in this scenario and here we are going to write brokerage per order including stt and taxes would be around let's say around 25 rupees 25 rupees right so if we just type like that we will see that the brokerage will get added automatically okay now whenever on saturday and sunday if you are not going to take a trade let's say this is saturday and sunday and it is highlighted in blue color will only have to write 0 0 0 and this would be zero right so in this case there is no trade given and this will automatically comment here as it was there was no trading day right so on saturdays and sundays we are not going to trade anything so it would be directly zero and <clears throat> you only have to fill the columns that are present in gray so for example in the middle of the month you add some capital let's say on monday you made a profit of 4000 here you made a profit of 1000 here and you made a loss of 2000 here right so what are the total number of trades as we are trading straddles and straddles total number of trades would be 12 my brokerage will be around 300 rupees or so it would be definitely more we'll have to calculate it exactly what would be the brokerage the net pnl daily would be 2700 what was the daily roi we made 0.5% on our capital and our strategy is at all time high let's say after this 
right now if we make a loss again on next day or so then obviously the ath or dd would change automatically depending upon the formula and how the calculations are occurring right so here we can see what is the total starting capital total capital added let's say that on tuesday we add around 2 lakh rupees okay now once we add 2 lakh rupees our net total capital would be 7 lakh rupees total pnl after cost and everything would be 2250 and max dd and average profit on winning days is 2700 average profit on losing days is 2100 right so we have kept a brokerage per order including taxes as 25 rupees so now you can keep 30 or if you are having some other brokerage you can change the number here as well also here we see strategy 1 strategy 2 and strategy 3 now here this basically plots the equity curve of individual strategies and how we are going to make profit and everything right so strategy 1 is at a profit of 4000 rupees strategy 2 is profit of uh, is at a profit of 1000 rupees and strategy 3 is at a loss of minus 2000 rupees so every day it is going to calculate its equity curve and plot it on the chart so that we are able to see the graph performance in a clear manner right so let's assume that i make a loss here as minus 3000 again i make a profit here 2000 okay 2999 and i make a loss one once again 1999 okay now the total number of trades would be let's say on tuesday i only trade directional and i only trade let's say if i buy him if i am buying option then we'll assume that total number of trades would be 6 here so here my automatically the brokerage is 150 and i have added 2 lakh of capital and now our portfolio or our strategy has gone into dd so here you can see the loss exactly our strategy 3 m2m was minus 199 and how the strategy 3 m2m is going on right so this is how you can use the excel sheet to monitor all your trades to monitor and analyze your trading data so that you can improve your trading and uh, you can understand where you are going wrong here it calculates the pnl each and every month what is the net roi and capital and as uh, as soon as you add the capital also and what is the brokerage that you have paid in that month right now as the brokerage calculation is complex so this will approximately show you the approx or the uh, approx brokerage right so around this could be could be around 400 rupees or 500 rupees also depending upon the premiums of the broker uh, premiums of the options and everything so if you like the video do share it with your friends and uh, the link of the journal is there in the description below do not miss it you can just directly copy make a copy and start using the excel sheet